important to, to understand why you buy the things you do in your pantry and how they enable you to cook more um, and to make more meals um, versus having these standalone items where, you know, that just hang out and get gross and moldy and whatever, and you wasted money. Um, so again, having a good pantry just enables you to cook more and also save a lot of money. Um, so in this next segment, we are going into my fridge. Um, my fridge probably looks like a lot of other people's fridges. It's not like, you know, I see those pictures on in, in Pinterest where people pin their very well organized fridges. I repin them, but I know that my fridge will probably never ever look like that, um, and that's okay. This is the this is where I house most of the pantry essentials. Um, again, not terribly neat, but it works. Um, in here, I keep panko crumbs. Panko crumbs are great um, for breading fish, for breading chicken, uh, for breading even tofu or vegetables. So um, if you, use, you can see on my blog that I have a lot of recipes that include panko in it. So keep them in your fridge after they've been opened because they're like, um, like, like bread. They do go stale, so that's why I do keep them in the fridge. Um, in here is where I keep a lot of different sauces. Um, this is where a lot of the Asian stuff goes. I don't really have a good organization method for it, I have to say. I keep three kinds of curry paste. If you're big into curry, buy all three. They, they do last quite a bit, but they do get moldy. So again, think about how frequently you are remaking it before you buy it. So for the curry paste that I keep, I use them beyond just making curries. I use them to add to a stir fry. Um, I use them to add to a stock, just to add a little bit of flavor of that, a lot that those herbal notes that um, a lot of curry pastes. Asian things that I keep in here, I keep an oyster sauce um, and a hoisin sauce. These just add a lot of saltiness and sweetness to a lot of dishes. You can throw a little bit of oyster sauce over some greens and all of a sudden your, your kid is going to be loving greens, I promise you. Um, and then I keep a little tamarind paste. This is great for making a lot of Thai cooking. This goes into Pad Thai. That goes into like a lot of their soups that are a little bit soury. Um, the tamarind is what provides that sour flavor. But again, I'm showing you a lot of these Asian pantry essentials because I cook a lot of Asian food, but that does not mean that you should go out and buy all these things unless you plan on cooking a lot of Asian food. Um, and then I always keep miso around. Just add a lot of flavor to soups. And then you have some noodles on hand. You have yourself a really great miso ramen. Um, and then, okay, so aside from the Asian stuff, the other things that I keep more, um, that, you know, more found in most other refrigerators, I keep capers. So these add a lot of pickly punch to different to different dishes. You can th throw them into, into fish, you can throw them in salads, um, you can throw them into pastas. I really like adding some capers around. Dijon mustard. Okay, so I use these for the basis of a lot of vinaigrettes, but I also use them um, in sauces. So I can mix up some Dijon mustard with some balsamic vinegar and a little bit of maple syrup, and all of a sudden, says, all of a sudden I have this really good dipping sauce for um, fries or for chicken tenders or whatever. So um, you know, think about Dijon beyond just beyond just a sandwich spread. Um, maple syrup, another sweetener that I like to use. I add a little bit of it whenever. I need some sweetener, so in vinaigrettes, um, that's often what I use is a little bit of maple syrup. I also put it over roasted vegetables um, just to give it another sugary, sugary note. And then, of course, I've got, you know, jellies and jams. Um, I don't keep a lot. I usually keep, you know, one or two jars of, of jam um, or, res or preserves in here. Uh, I, of course, make PBJ sandwiches like everybody else, put them on English muffins and such. Um, but I also, what I like to do is make vinaigrettes out of them as well. So a little bit of strawberry jam with some balsamic vinegar um, and some olive oil makes a really good berry vinaigrette. Um, so that's what I often, more often use my, my jellies and jams and preserves for. So I also keep um, some mayo. This is this is called veganaise instead of mayonnaise because it's vegan. They don't use eggs. Um, if you added a couple of drops of balsamic vinegar, all of a sudden you have a balsamic aioli. Um, and that's like just a, you know, seems sounds fancy, but it's not at all. Um, and that becomes like a dipping sauce for sweet potato fries or dipping sauce for some chicken. Um, just anything that'll just add a little bit of flavor and a little bit of texture to something that you've already cooked. 